Josie, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm not too bad. How are you enjoying this series of Death in Paradise? Um, I was watching last night. The weather here in Cardiff, where, where I'm filming from, is bitter cold. And every year, Death in Paradise comes on and the weather looks amazing and it just makes me want to jet set away and go to Guadeloupe. So how are you enjoying the series? It makes me want to go back, to be honest. I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> it's the same in Paris. In France, the weather is freezing cold. Uh, it has snowed in the eastern France. So, I mean, it's really the winter. But I love it. I love it. I mean, I was pretty sure that it was going to be a nice series, series 10. Every series, we say the same thing. It's the best one. It's the best one. I, just, I think it's getting better and better. But this one is especially good. Uh, it's the 10th anniversary, so a lot of surprises, uh, very good guest actors, people who come back <laughs> that you haven't seen for a long time. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a nice series and I'm really, really proud of it. Well, you mentioned that, the guest actors. In the lead up to the promotion for the series, it just seemed to be that they were announcing huge name after huge name after huge name. Um, what's it like to work with all those amazing guest stars? Because this series, you've got the likes of... Oh, uh, Jason Manford, um, yeah. uh, Kelvin Fletcher. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got so many amazing guest stars. I know. Well, the thing is, um, I'm always a bit embarrassed to say this, but as a French person, I don't really know these names. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to offend anybody, but it's just that, I mean, they're really, really big in the UK, but we don't know them here in France. So every time... People in the crew were like, oh my God, this guy is coming. This woman is coming. It's so cool. And like, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know who they are. <laughs> but I mean. Quick, quick Google. It's like, what, what did they yes. do? Oh, he won, yeah. oh, won Strictly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I think for me, it's a good thing because when they arrive on set, for me, they're just people and actors and normal people. I, I don't see the famous actor or that kind of thing. I just see like a woman or a man. And they're all so nice and so happy to be here. That it's good for us to have new people every two or three weeks with a new mm. energy and fresh energy. Um, we're here for five months. It's quite a long time. And we've been doing this job for a really long time. But we're still enjoying it. But it's just that after a few months, we're getting tired. So it's good to have new energy and new people who are so, so, so happy to be here on the, mm -hmm. on the island. Of course, it wasn't just the guest stars that surprised me uh, this year. Actually, you coming back surprised me because you went away. Like it's yeah. just like oh, oh, bye, bye, Florence, au revoir, <laughs> and it's like what, you came back. Why, yeah. why did you come back? <laughs> um, when I quit this show in series eight, production told me we are not going to kill you, just in case because we like you first. <laughs> Just in case. That's handy. <laughs> and just, just in case one day you want to come back, but just maybe for a guest, like for a special episode. And I said, okay, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, and they called me for this series 10. And I was like, I was very surprised at first. It took me a few days, a few weeks to think about it and just take my decision. But I was like, you know what? I think Florence has still something to say and to tell. She has a story to tell. And I really wanted to know how she how she felt and how she has recovered and just because I love the show and I don't know I was like okay I'll do it and I'm really glad I did when you were when you were off from the show did you did you continue to watch and catch up and find out what was happening uh I must admit that series nine I didn't really watch it uh, I don't know why I just it, it wasn't on purpose just it didn't happen but I remember it was during lockdown, the very first one we had. I was watching TV and then I saw the series nine and I was like, oh my God, it's the new show, the new guy, the new detective. Um, and I watched one episode and I really enjoyed it. And mm. I knew at that time that I would probably go back on the show and work with that guy, uh, Ralph. And I thought that his character was amazing and great. And I was really excited to know that I would work with him. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned how, you know, this show uh, is obviously filmed in uh, lovely Guadeloupe and, uh, you know, it, the weather looks amazing and every January it's what we all need. Um, Death in Paradise, the reaction has been amazing. Uh, it's just been commissioned for two more series, yeah. which just shows how amazing it is. 
Um, kind of, why do you think people love this show so much? Well, for so many reasons. I mean, it's a great show. It's a great show, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. You can't deny it. It's a great show. <laughs> I insist. Um, I know it's just, as you said, it's filmed in Guadeloupe. And I mean, everything is so beautiful there. So, I mean, when you're, it's February, January, it's freezing cold, it's the winter. It helps you travel a lot and dream about something else. <laughs> Um, Sorry, my, was... my, my light just fell. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, and that's it. If you just saw me going there, like, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. what is he doing? Is the weather and the, 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 the weather, the show... as well? Yeah, the storylines, and it's not a violent show. I mean, I mean, people die every day on this island. It's a very dangerous place to live, but <laughs> um, it's not violent. It's a show you can watch with your parents, your children. Uh, you know, having dinner. There's there are so many violent show on TV. I like this series, but I mean, sometimes it's too much. It's just it's just nice to be able to sit and escape for just an hour and dream. And I think the mix between uh, the Caribbean vibe and the English vibe is quite something. <laughs> it's something we don't see very often on TV. Everything is great about the show. I mean, people get so excited. And when I talk with them, I like to, what I used to do is go on Twitter uh, and talk with the people while they were watching the episode. And people mm. were like, oh my God, I'm really excited. I'd like to know who the killer is. And sometimes they were like, I know who did it. And like, no, you're lying, you're not. <laughs> you don't know because I've been doing this show for years. And every time I read the script, I can't tell who did it and why and how. Really? So oh, oh, no. That was gonna be my next question. So when you're reading the script, you know, do you just, look straight to the end and just like oh no. it was him who did it because that would be that would be rubbish but like have you not picked up any sort of detective intuition like no no i gave there. up what i do you know that big like the uh, reveal um the, the last scene at the at very end when we reveal who the killer is it's quite a long scene and it it, it takes us uh it takes us the day to film it so what i do sometimes i go straight to that scene just to see how long it is yeah, and how many course. lines I have. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how I know uh, who did it. But normally when I read it from the beginning to the end, I don't even try anymore. I don't no. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to read it and find out at the end. It's too no. difficult. And, and that's the thing, I suppose, you know, we've, we've talked about the amazing weather conditions and um, uh, filming the show. I'd imagine that sometimes is a bit of a nightmare as well, because it, I'd imagine it just gets so hot filming it i mean it yeah. looks hot there and you, the, the the thing that strikes me is that all detectives in this program they all wear like cashmere and and like big big wool jackets and things like that so you, you know my heart goes out to them but then also they are having a lovely time so i'm just like mm. but um, yes but i mean i'm the one who can't complain because i'm wearing shorts and tiny tops so I'm, <laughs> I'm fine even though with the makeup and hair sometimes it's quite hot but I think the worst one is the commissioner. Have yeah. you noticed? Oh, yeah, that's uniform. true. I mean, I suppose he does wear the full uniform. Yeah. Yes. So he takes it off in between the scenes. But still, and Don never complains. He just stands still. Like, everything is okay. I'm like, Don, how do you do it? I could yeah. not do this. Um, yeah, it's quite hot. Filming on the, on the beach looks great on screen. It is, but it's just sometimes it's very difficult because it's really hot. And then suddenly it starts raining for no reason. Then we have to cover up all the material and camera and the, the cameras and everything. So it's not it's not holidays. Mm -hmm. It's a real job. It's really hot. And especially the police station, I think, is the worst place to film. It's now, so, so hot. Now, in the last episode, episode two, uh, series 10, we were introduced to uh, Marlon. <laughs> Uh, and um, he, he's, the, he's the new member of the cast. Um, just finally, Josie, what can you tell us about Series 10? Um, what, what surprises have we got in store? Obviously, you can't give too much away. Uh, it's been advertised that uh, a certain Richard Poole uh, returns. Uh, may, maybe, maybe. Um, <laughs> what can you tell us about Series 10? What can I tell you? It's difficult. Um, talking about um, the new character, Marlon, first because you mentioned him he's great he's amazing Taj I'm a huge fan he's the best he's a great actor and his character you'll see you love him he's so funny a bit arrogant very smart 
and his relationship with Toby in the series and JP. <sighs> Fantastic, so funny. They work very, very well together. Very well together. That duo is great. What I can tell you without giving away too much is that between Florence and Neville, they will get really close. Is that going to be a love story or not? I don't know. Well, that's I what I was reading today. I was, I, lo I was looking at the tabloids and I was seeing Florence and Neville. I was like, you saw hints of it last night, but is there a love story blossoming? I don't remember. I mean, it's, it's, no, I don't know. It's too far away. I don't remember. Nightmare. I have to discover. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, uh, they will get along very well together. Um, they will help each other. He will help her with, um, because he, she has lost her fiance a few months or years ago, and she's still struggling with the pain. So he will help her with this and she will help him being more confident and be more open and, and try to, you know, experience more things on the island and with people. Josie, uh, that was wonderful. Uh, Death in Paradise may it achieve uh, many more great success um, from all of us. Thank you very much. Or as we say in Welsh, which I like to teach people, yeah. Dioch an Vau. Dioch an Vau. What? That was Not amazing. That. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> have, you, have you spoken much before? Maybe in another life, probably. That, that was amazing. I mean, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, <laughs> thank you for me. having me. That was great. No worries at all. Um, I think, uh, oh, how do I start recording on this? Hang on. Oh, that's just falling again. <laughs> uh,